guys. First cold tournament. I think it's 50 something degrees out. Um, got all my warm gear. And this is what I'm trying to focus on. And it's all mental. So the last time I played, um, had some great drives, but the guy that I was playing with, Ron, shout out, he basically caddied, quote unquote, for me. He'd give me the distance. He'd tell me, you know, here's stock shot, knock down. So he's actually telling me what to do. And I was standing on 14, two over, and the anxiety kicked in. My swing started getting short. Um, my brain started going all over the place. Instead of like thinking that stock shot, I tried to start hitting. Tried to start start hitting it. Does that make sense? So instead of just letting the subconscious that I've trained every day over and over in the simulator craft it with your hands, you know, and it's like it. It you, I just. That's why I do so bad in tournaments. It's because in my mind, I'm like, this should be easy. It's handicap tournament. There's no reason I can't win. But going back to what my coach is saying um, at the last STPGA tournament, he said, are you here to win, Jeff? I'm like, well, I'm not going to win. He's like, you have the game to win right now. So are you going to choose to win? Or are you just going to show up? Just kind of have fun. And that... There's so many people around me. Um, Jackson from my uh, Pro V, uh, Pro versus Pro. It, editing that video right now. Link in the description. No, link right there. Um, he's At the time, I was an 8.2. And he says, you're not an 8.2 something's going on your swings way too athletic your swing looks good so we need to figure out where you're going wrong and it's mental it's you know when I'm working in the simulator you know I'll be working on a specific position or a feel and I have I have a good swing as it is and there's no reason I can't make that work so today is going to be fun and new approach i actually wrote down my thoughts for the day in this nice little book i've got i'm going to share that with you so my round behavior think stock shot so quit trying to manufacture or do something fancy just do a stock shot, swing, subconscious swing, let the mind take care of it. Two, walk with confidence. And I'm listening to um, Think Like a Winner by Bob Rotella. Think like a champion. Think like a champion. And he said you have to believe in yourself that you can do it. And you should walk around with your head high Smiling and confident. Smiling thing is about to come out here in a second. Uh, three, smile when you putt. Oh, well, it came out a lot quicker. Smile when you putt. He said that if you are smiling when you're putting, a smile generally leads, means you're in a good mood, you're relaxed, but he said for whatever reason, when your conscious takes over, you go into this dark place of focus and I'm not saying I'm not gonna be focused but I'm gonna be trying to be relaxed and enjoy it and I mean I'm doing this so um, for and I've talked about this before I've 100% got to have full faith that I'm going to do what I'm gonna do and hit the shot that I'm gonna hit if I don't have confidence when I'm standing over the ball, back off. If that makes my slow uh, slow play a little worse, 
it's, it's just going to have to be how it is. I have to have confidence in my mind and not be second-guessing it over the ball. Um, five, shooting for the center of the green. Um, and I'm also looking at the green to see where's, where's the best miss. And that's what I'm looking for. I've never played here before, so that's going to be a little harder because I'll be using the V1 app um, to look at the hole before I actually play it. Um, so it still is focused on aim for the center of the green, not don't go flag hunting. I'm not that good yet. And six, aim for the best miss. Kind of the same, but you know, when, when you're looking at a, at a, um, a fairway and there's, you know, there'll be, I'll, I'll bring one up here over here and if you look at this you're going to see that there's this huge area that is made for you to hit into and if it's 240 I'm going to hit hybrid and of course it is cold today so it's going to reduce things a little bit but but I'm shooting where the architect wants me to shoot that may leave me 200 out I'm all right with that I've got the 200 shot in the bag so those are the main keys for today. I am at the Hills of Frisco in Dallas. So I'm going to go get checked in, warm up, load up the cart, and I'm riding with someone today. Um, but I'm going to still try and do some vlogging uh, just to kind of keep you guys updated on my route. So stay tuned. All right, so the guy I'm supposed to play with didn't show up. Yay for us. Got off the first tee with a nice, easy drive. Um, didn't go a ton, but just got off. Because, uh, you know, it's always fun watch it, having other people watch you hit the ball. Five iron, not so well. But it's safe, and we're gonna find it. We're gonna hit it again from wherever it's at. All right, first hole down. Bogeyed it. Lift out my putt. My uh, I think it was a like seven foot putt. Lift it out. So to preserve, pres persevere. That's a fancy word. Looks like we got a decently easy par four here. Okay. So. I hit a drive with a three hybrid between the white and red tees. I don't understand why this gets me so fired up. It's golf. It's golf. It's not even a tournament. It's not a terminate. Terminate. Tur tournament? <laughs> In fact, it's more about just the game of golf. But I just flushed five iron. In, into the little bit of wind and it's cold. So, just have to keep that mental stuff going in my brain. Lock it in the noggin. Stay tough. All right, catch up time. Part three, I flushed five iron, probably about 210 on the fly. Guess what? 10 was 205. I pushed it just a tiny bit. So that means I three putted. Genius. Three putted genius. I mean, these greens are so flipping fast. It's crazy. But I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel that relaxed calmness. So let's see what we can find. Okay, mid hole update. Um, par four. I slightly pushed my three hybrid into the into the tree area, so I had to wedge out. But I hit a solid sand wedge to about I would say six feet. So I have that for par. Got to get the par train going at some point, boys. Mm. 
Okay, I wouldn't say from bad to worse, but it's frustrating. Um, hit a fat seven iron into the junk, short of the short of the hole, and had to drop. Landed in the bunker. I mean, it's just I'm not I'm not smoothing it out. I'm I'm trying to re loosen up my swing. Back nine, I'm gonna back nine, I'm gonna go even because right now I'm at nine over. Ooh, what? I'm a pro. <laughs> Chipped it to less than a foot. Probably about a 50 yard chip. Par, watch out. I'm on fire. <laughs> All right, I got 250 flag. Just gonna try and land it in the mouth. As good as I got. Mental hurdle is broken. Three pars in a row. Swinging a lot better. That last one I should have hit a knockdown 48 degree instead of my 54. Um, but still, relatively good, good lag putt and then decent, I don't know, maybe four foot side hill. So it's coming around, it's starting to breathe again. So that's a good sign. And by the way, you didn't know this, but since you're watching it now, it's lift clean in place. One seventy nine. One seventy nine. So that's just flush a seven iron. I should get it there. Let's just set it there. Oh yeah, holy smokes. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. <sighs> now, granted, it was probably about a 29 foot putt. But that gallant, I only left it four feet short and missed this stupid thing. You can't do that. Can't do that. Hmm. Okay, so that's nine over on the front. So I'm just gonna carry that part train forward and keep on grinding. Whoa, uh, 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 that's rough. Holy smokes, we need to fix their bridges. And their tea boxes and some other stuff. Wait, I'm not gonna complain. Guess who cares? Par. Decent drive. A, f a late open eight iron. Two feet short of red stake. But par. All right, so I've got about 198, but it's uphill. A little wind, but I don't think enough to really mess with me. So I got a five iron. Just take it right to see this. I started doing it. I went was going right at the flag, so I'm not going to do that. Go at the center. Center of the center of the green. Oh. <laughs> Right in the water, dad gum it. Oh, 
obviously, you saw me go in the water. Penalty stroke, drop, chunk to nine iron. Had about a 38 foot putt. Left it 10 feet short and then left it two inches short. Triple. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Had 70 out and uh, hit a uh, three quarter lob wedge to about, I think it was about eight feet. Some the darn putt. <laughs> Makes up for that triple. So now I'm two over on the back. So let's get a couple more of these bad boys. See what we can do. All right. 240 yard par three. I think that's up on the board for you. Okay. Um, let's let's go up. Fours. So that let's go up to the tee box. All right, so 240 yard par three. Got my, my three hybrid passed it and uh, had probably about 28 feet maybe and uh, made the darn, no, no I didn't make the darn thing because I've been a birdie. Got a, got a par, so just keep it going. Oh, so here's a good goods I take out of it. Great drive, smoked it down the middle with my three hybrid. I mentioned I love my three hybrid um, because my driver I was worried about getting it in the bunker so it just wasn't worth the risk and um, three putted from about I don't know 50 feet so I don't feel horrible about that but coming into the stretch to see what we can do to finish this all right so bogey but hit a three wood smashed it best three wood I've had this year so I'm not going to argue too much about it but bogey left it short and lipped out oh well alright that's how you wrap it up wrap it up obviously I'm not happy um so playing, trying to play smart I hit a three hybrid like I've been striping it all day Push it a foot and a half out of bounds. Hit another one. Duff to seven iron. Duff to six iron. Flop the lob wedge short of the green. Chipped up. And two putted. For nine. Hmm. Okay, so. How did I do on stuff? Uh... The putting was much better today. I thought. I guess not. Whoa. One, two, three. Three three putts. But the three putts were like, I know two of them were like 50, 60, 38, something like that. So I'm not too stressed about that. Um, plus 10 on the front. So I had a double, a triple. So if, if I look at it this way, on six, starting on six, par, 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 bogey, par, par, triple, birdie, par. So the triple, I don't, that wasn't a happy moment. However, um, that was because I hit it out of bounds into the water on my second shot. You, you saw it. You saw that, that shot. Um, it, you know, gosh, it's getting so much better. It's, I'm, it's a mental thing now. Um, and it's trusting my swing. When I start doing funky things in my brain with what my hands should be doing, I think that's where it goes sideways and I need to stop that. It's just crazy. Um, So if you take out, let's say, okay, on three holes, the quadruple, so that's four over, I had three over, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on three holes, I was ten over. If I could have parred those, I would have shot 80. 
So, oh gosh, I don't know. It's tournament golf. I used to think that it didn't bother me, but apparently it does um, because I can't fring, I can't fring sweely. <laughs> I can't swing freely um, and just trust it. I, I just need to be out playing more. Um, I'm trying to, but works, works work. And I gotta earn money to make this goal happen so I can afford to practice and play in tournaments. So, um, there were, there was a good stretch there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of nine holes, I hit the green eight times. So, it's coming around. It's coming around. Um, the mental thing, I did smile. Um, the confidence piece, when I started, when I got those, started that par train, I started getting confidence and I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not, it's not, I, cocky's the wrong word, but it's almost like I have to be like that. Like, I'm a pro, I deserve to be here. You know, you look at my score today, It, let's see. Uh, if you look at my score today, that's 19 over. I gotta put this, just keep putting it behind me. I'm close. I'm close. Keep watching. There's one more tournament that I'm gonna see if I can get into, which is on the first. And see what I mean. I, I really want to finish out with the check. I already have one check, but I want another one. And there's no reason I can't get it. Why I'm playing, how my swing <laughs> is shooting a 90 is beyond me. And it's frustrating to have people that you play with me like, dude, you're, your handicap's too high for your swing. It's not really. Because I can't score. I'm trying to think a lot smarter about things, but it's not working out so well. Keep grinding. I'm waiting for the Corvette to drive away because he has a souped up muffler system. I don't think it's souped up because I can, I guess you can soup up a Corvette. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want it. I like a truck. I like a big truck. Anyway, where, I, where, why am I even talking? Okay, so all in all, it's I'm making progress. I'm getting there. I just got to keep grinding I, and I need to play more. I think I already said that. So guys, if you like this content, check out the um, playlist I'm going to put over here. Uh, it's all my tournaments that I've played. Uh, it includes actually winning three times last year on the amateur tour, and then I turned pro and nosedived, um, which is whatever. Uh, check them out. Leave in the comments below your thoughts. I'm open to them. Um, other than that, as always, keep it findable. Guys, thanks for following.